Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a basic macro to automate processes. So this is the students database and the last session I went through how to create a, a query to append records, a delete query and an update query. Now I've just added an extra thing in each of these two queries so I can show you how the macro works. If I just right click, go into that one. So I've put a parameter on there with a less than sign. And close that one. And I've done the same on this one. Just less than, and then I can enter the date. So I can keep entering different dates. So what I want is a macro that will run these two query so basically append a record based on a date from the students table and the one I'm going to do is this record so I've got I've already changed it to 2021 so I'm going to put the first of the first 2022 any record before that I want it off this table into the archive table and then I want this one deleted from here so I've just got it in the archive table so at the moment the archive table just got two records in there close that one down now to create a macro, you go into create a macro, create macro. I'll just do a basic one to open a form because that's the one I'm going to do anyhow. So drop the arrow down. I've got the, click the wrong thing there. Drop the arrow down and get to the O's, open query or open form. So I'll get one to open the form students. So we'll look at that one, open form. So the form name is going to be students. And then you've got different options here, filter options, but that's all I want. I'll just save this as um, MCR macro open student. So I think it's quite important that you actually type what it does. FRM I'll put at the end of that. And then OK. Now once I've saved that, you can just run it to check it and it opens the form. Now what that should now do is if you go back to the main menu, which we've already done, these buttons we're using the wizard. But now if I go into design on that, I can actually use a macro to do the same sort of thing. So that's the wizard. And then I can add the macro to it. So miscellaneous, run macro, next. There's only one macro there. I can just go finish really, but let's just say open students form and then finish. So it gets it does exactly the same, but the benefit of this, if I just save this, that's open that form. But I can now add something to the macro to close this down. So that macro is working on that button. We've tested it, so it works. But if I add a new action, an extra step, if you like, I can get it to close that other form. So let's just. Have a look at that one. So we're going for close window. It's asking you for the object. The object is a form. Then it wants the form name, main menu. So that's what's, so it's going to open that and close this. So you're basically tidying up behind yourself. If I save this and go back to this button, click on it. So what I'm expecting here is for the student's form to open and this one to close. So click that one student form is there and the main menu is closed so that's worked fine so that's how you create a basic macro and then add it to a button just close that one off close this macro so that's was, that was the main menu well what i want on here is a button that's going to do all this um, append and delete so that's what i'm going to create now and let's see if it works so back to create macro it's a very simple one this it's just open macros uh, open query should I say so the first query is going to be append remember that append query has got a date in it with a less than date option and then another one if I go in there open query and that's going to be the delete one delete and again that's got a, a parameter query delete in it so hopefully if I save this don't want to run it just yet I just want to save it so I'll call this MCR um, archive. And then, and then I'll run it. 
you've got two things run you're about to run the append query yes so it's asking me for the date so i'm going the first of the first 22 just to recap that you know in there you've got one one record colin rycroft rycroft who's going to marry up to this criteria okay yes now i'm going to run the delete query yes same date first of the first 22 you're going to delete one record in the specified table yes right so let's see what's happened so in the students table colin rycroft's disappeared in the archive table colin rycroft has appeared so that's worked fine so now what i need to do is get this onto a button so i've got i've got no button there so i'll just go into design draw myself another button assign a little macro to it applications macro next archive next and then just archive there and then just go finish so that says archive save this and then just view the form so now if i go into students and just change somebody else let's put that one to 21 doesn't have to be 21 it could be any date you decide so that's Wendy Carr Wendy Carr close that up. and then run the archive button from here yes same date first of the first 22 yeah yeah same date first of the first 22 and then it's going to do the same thing go back to students so wendy carr should have disappeared open archive and she's sitting in the archive now this is a, a basic look at macros obviously i don't want those prompts coming up all the time so i need to go and have a look and you can have a look at tidying that up at a later date but that's all I want to talk about in this little video. So hopefully it's been of use and it's getting you going into using macros. Next session, we'll look at a few different macros and concatenation in reports. So you can see how that works. But hopefully this was okay for you. Catch you on the next one. Have a good time.